morning. It's Thursday. God, I have to think about that. It's Thursday the 24th of September and I thought I would film a bit of a day in the life today. I'm going out and about a bit. The plasterer is coming to plaster the last bits of the lounge. Um, my desk is covered in mess. I've just done my exercise video. Why am I talking <laughs> in this strange tone of voice with the sentences going up at the end? I have no idea. I've just done my morning exercise. It's 7.49. I am now in front of my computer. I have a lovely cup of tea in my cat mug, which I love. Um, yes, so I'm just, the, my house tour video has just gone live, so I'm just um, answering some comments on that. I'm gonna tidy up all the bits of paper on the desk and um, a couple of other bits and pieces and then I'm going to go and get dressed. Right, that's all my morning bits and pieces, paperwork sorted out. It's now 8 to 16 so I'm going to go and get dressed and we're going to go out. I think we've got the plaster coming, I think I've said that already. So I'm going to go over to Torquay to Primark and I thought I'd take you with me. Looking for a lightweight long line cardigan, maybe a couple depending on what colours with them. I hear, I hear rumours that they have the cardigan of dreams back in store, so we shall see. I just wanted to show you these products which I have been sent um, by this brand, Nurse M. They are so good. They, I've heard about them before they got in touch with me actually and asked if I'd been in, be interested in receiving them and um, I wanted to, I said yes immediately because I had heard of them and they're so good for every product you buy from their website, they get, sorry I'm just reading off their website, they give a month's worth of this hand cream and their products to an NHS nurse. Um, it's developed with nurses in mind because of all the hand washing and sanitising and although it was developed before Covid and has been around for a while, um, it's even more relevant now than it has been previously. They've got, they've got hand wash and all sorts. I'll put a link to their website below. I haven't tried the product yet but I am going to try them um, a little bit later on and I will let you know what they're like. I've got a hand cream here and a sort of super hand cream, it's a caring skin fix, but such a nice idea to develop these products. And I think they, if you've got dry hands, I reckon they'll be really good because they have been um, created with nurses in mind. The weather is much sunnier than they said it was going to be today. It's looking rather nice out there. This is today's makeup look. I have used mostly this little Revolution Mermaid Hearts palette, which I've shown you before, but looks like this. I've got the green on the bottom. I don't know if that's your, but the dark green on the bottom corner. I don't know if it's that, that's your left or right. <laughs> um, and then the, sorry, halfway through. The one towards the beigey champagne color, the, towards the middle on the top um, row my eyelids and I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out. Right, the plasterer is here and the builder so I am going to make a hasty exit and go and do some shopping I think. Right, we're off. Good time to leave the house. Builders everywhere. But hopefully once they're done it will be a step closer to the lounge being finished. Well it will be a step closer, not hopefully. But yeah, escape while the going's good is my plan. Anyway, how are we all feeling after Boris's announcement earlier this week? It was a bit of a damp squib compared with what I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. I feel like, without wanting to get political, because we don't get political in these parts, do we? I feel like... Um, it maybe needed to have gone a bit further. I don't doubt that the measures will go a little bit further um, before too long a time has passed. But um, yeah, those, that's my thoughts really. However, it was good news purely on a selfish level from my point of view because he didn't say we couldn't go on holiday 
and Ashley and I are off to Greece next week and we cannot wait. We had to cancel our trip to Yorkshire and the Cotswolds, as you know, um, earlier this month. And we just, we both really, really need a break. And I fit, I haven't been able to get excited about it. Um, we only booked it about a week ago, but um, I haven't been able to get excited about it because I thought Boris might stop all foreign holidays in his announcement on Tuesday. So we just what we were just waiting. We have a, we didn't allow ourselves to get it, it, even believe we were going, and it looks like we are going. So that is lovely. Um, I can't wait just for just for a week and eight days actually. But um, yeah, cannot wait. Very excited about that. So I feel like if I get this break, I can deal with anything that Boris is going to throw at us this winter. Do you know, weirdly, even without the break, I feel very resigned to another lockdown. I feel like I've practiced, I feel like, weirdly, that we practiced through all through the spring and early summer at lockdown and now I reckon I could do it better than I did the first time, which is ridiculous, isn't it? But um, I feel like cosy winter um, time, being in the house, it doesn't feel so bad, does it? You don't feel like you're missing out on loads of stuff. Um, I'm going to be quite happy under my cosy blanket on the sofa with a Netflix box set. I'm going to watch lots of TV, read lots of books and... Um, you know, don't get me wrong, I'd rather there wasn't going to be another lockdown, but I feel like it's inevitable and I feel like it's for the greater good of the elderly and vulnerable. I do worry for my parents if there is a long winter of lockdown and their f freedom to see their friends and so on is curtailed. I, I know how badly. The first lockdown affected my dad's dementia and made it a lot worse. Um, so for me, one of my absolute non-negotiables, whatever any rules say or don't say, is that I will not be stopping seeing my parents. Um, uh, I, I can't do it. In, in, in the lo last lockdown, there was a, um, I want to say get out clause, but that's the wrong um, expression there was you were allowed to go and see elderly and vulnerable relatives if they needed support so I assume that, that won't change but um, yes I will make sure that I do I'm still able to regularly see my parents and if that means that I have to go out less and curtail um, sourcing for eBay or whatever that's absolutely what I'm going to do I'm very clear in my head about that that if I keep myself as safe as I possibly can then I can still see them um, it's all just a balancing act, isn't it? I feel like they're more at risk of um, their mental health being so severely impeded by, you know, another long period, particularly over the winter, of um, having their social life and, um, you know, ability to see other people curtailed, particularly my mum, who is in care of my father. And, um, you know, my father's dementia, it's just, it's just, I know it's a shit situation for so, so many people, but, um, yeah, I, I I feel like it's a balance between, I feel like that could affect them more severely than getting coronavirus, to be perfectly honest. And I think that that, that situation will have been clarified in our minds for a lot of us with, um, you know, vulnerable friends and relatives that will know more how the land lies with regards to what we are prepared to do and what we're not prepared to do. Um, so that can only be a good thing, can't it? I think if everybody's, um, you know, as sensible as they can be and look after themselves and their families and their friends as best they can while keeping the economy going, it's all just a balancing act, isn't it? Anyway, I am going to switch off the camera and I will see you when I get to the shops. Primark Knitwear, the Cardigan of Dreams is back. I don't know how well you can hear me because I've got a mask on, but um, yeah, there's lots of cardigans of dreams in all the colours. In fact, it looks very wintry in here. 
perfect for my mood. Very, very winter vibe. Nice. Seems really pricey for Primark. And it's quite nice. Chunky neck cardigan, coatigan type of thing. And it's got a hood. I've gone off it now, now I've got a hood. But 20 seems a lot. Quite like this chunky one for 13 though. Yeah. I just wanted to point out this range which is D to F bras. And they're six pounds and they look nice quality to me. I have tried some Primark bras from this range before and they were pretty good, although they weren't the lace ones, they were sort of the shaped ones. But for six pounds, way cheaper than Mark's is. I love these pyjamas. They remind me of Ted Baker a lot, the design. They've got all different tops and bottoms, lots and lots of different things. I love these little sparkly earrings for three pounds. I'm hoping that's focused, I can't see in here. But I think that's such good value, they look so pretty. Shame we're not going to have any nights out to wear something like that, but hey. Very little house on the prairie. Look at that. Don't pick on the ruffles at all. Right, that's Primark done. Now it's raining. I have no coat, no umbrella. This is not good. I'm in Superdrug and how nice does this sound? A sanctuary spa, salted caramel and macadamia body lotion. I really want it. I'm not in the market for body lotion, but seriously, how nice does that sound? Back in the car, Torquay Town Centre is looking really sad. It was very quiet anyway, but um, a lot of shops were closed down. Far more than last time I remember. I mean, it's been a bit scabby for a long time, the centre of Torquay, but... Yeah, loads of shops closed down, more so than last time I went. And I'm guessing it's only gonna get worse. But I got a few bits from Primark, which I will show you when I get home. Sorry if I sound out of breath. I'm on a bit of a health kick this week before we go away. Well, for the next six weeks, but another video coming about that um, at some point, probably not till I get back from holiday. Um, yeah, I'm on a bit of a health kick. So I parked further away from town than I normally would to make myself walk, which was good, but I'm a bit knackered. I'm now off to Marks and Spencers because I've got it in my head that I want to pick up a coverless duvet, one of those coverless duvets for Will's bedroom. I um, mean, he never makes his bed anyway, but I feel like it will look less untidy with a coverless duvet than with a duvet with a cover on. That's my thoughts anyway. Well, it's raining. Can you see? It's raining. <laughs> I decided on my way to Marks and Spencers to pop into my mother-in-law's, something I do very occasionally. But I was literally past the end of her road, so I went and had a chat and a cup of coffee with her. She was um, pleased with the company, I think, so I feel like a good deed was done. So that's good. And then I came to Marks and Spencers. Annoyingly, considering they had a huge rack of the coverless duvets only a few weeks ago, there was not a single one there. So. I will have to order online, I think, um, but I did get a new pair of jeggings. I went off jeggings for a while, but I feel like a pair of jeggings might be the perfect sort of weight and for an evening on holiday. It's certainly cooler in the evenings in Greece now than it is in high summer, so um, we have been at this time of year before. I feel like jeggings will be just perfect and I liked the colour, so I'll show you those when I get home. Um, I am now going home. I was going to go and get my car washed at the hand car wash. However, it's pouring with rain, so I'm going to leave that until tomorrow. I want to get it done before we go up to the airport because I haven't had it washed for ages. And yeah, and no, I don't wash my own car. I am that person who supports a local small business. <laughs> That's how I like to look at it anyway, supporting a local small business of hard-working young men by going and getting my car cleaned um, by somebody other than myself. They make a much better job of it than I would do as well. <laughs> also, because I'm so short and I have quite a tall car, I can't reach the roof anyway. <laughs> but yeah, time to go home, see how the plasters have got on. It's half past 11 now. It's been quite a nice morning, actually. I've enjoyed getting out for the morning. I have to say... in in all the other shops I went in, apart from Marks and Spencers, everybody, it was quite, actually Marks and Spencers was the busiest to be fair. Um, 
but everybody was very good at social distancing in the other shops I noticed but in Marks and Spencer's not good at all and one of the things I've decided is that I think we'd all got a little bit lackadaisical about it. Is that the right word? About social distancing and a bit blasé about it. And one of the things I've decided inside my head is that I'm, I'm going to absolutely, definitely be two metres away from people as much as I possibly can all the time. And a couple of times in Marks and Spencer's people brush past me or, you know... One lady stood back for me, but I, uh, I was going through and she sort of came towards me and then stood back for me, but not far enough for me to do the two metres thing. So I turned and walked the other way. I did smile nicely at her first, but I turned and walked around the other way. And I think, yeah, you just got to do that. You've just got to, it's not good to be up close to people all the time. I think we've got to retrain ourselves to remember to do it as much as we can. Anyway, I realise this may sound ridiculous, bearing in mind I'm going on a plane on Sunday, but, you know, again, it's just doing what you can, isn't it? Doing what you can when you can um, within the confines of your own life, I guess. Anyway, right, time to go home. Right, I'm home again. It's ten to one. I've done some eBay relist, but the builders are working right in my office, so I've given up the idea of listing anything for the moment, although I could do with knocking out 20 listings today, so hopefully they'll be out of the way. I think the plaster is nearly finished, so perhaps he'll be going soon. Anyway, should we do a little haul? Let's have a little haul. I'm excited to show you what I bought. I bought... Miles and Spencer's two gift bags for bottles. They were £1 each. They are for gifts for some of our friends at the hotel we're going to in Greece because it's a hotel that we've been to many friends many times and we have some friends there that we always like to take a gift for. So that's that. Then I got these jeggings. Miles and Spencer's high rise jeggings. They're, they're just jeggings, but I really liked the royal blue colour. I thought they were really nice. They're only £15. They're made of responsibly sourced cotton. Why well, I leapt forward like that then. Responsibly sourced cotton. And um, yeah, I got them in an 18 regular. Um, yes, I think they'll be useful for holidays and elasticated waist, which is comfortable, isn't it? Um, a lot of you put elasticated waists, or several of you put elasticated waists, as one of the things that you couldn't live without or wouldn't want to live without in um, the comments on my video the other day. Incidentally, talking about which, you all had so many good comments to that that I'm going to make a video of all the things that you suggested as little things that we're grateful for every day. So, yeah, I'm going to do a whole standalone video on that. If I have time, I'm going to do it before I go to Greece. Right, I then went to Superdrug and Boots, and I bought... This is... We use Corsidil mouthwash. It's like a medicated mouthwash. I've got a wobbly tooth at the moment. Um, well, at the moment, it's a wobbly tooth. It's not going to get unwobbly, is it? Because I've got some bone loss in the bottom of my jaw down here. Oh, the joys of getting older. Um, and the dentist recommended a medicated mouthwash. And we usually use Corsidil. But this is Superdrug's own brand of Corsidil. It's got the same... Um, Active ingredient, that's what I'm trying to say. Chlorhexidine glucoke, gluconate. God, I massacred that, didn't I? Chlorhexidine gluconate antiseptic mouthwash. So I got that because it's a lot cheaper than cool still, Um to try that out. Um, got myself a little Shaw compressed deodorant for going on holiday. Um, I got some of this. This is bloody brilliant. Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. I've talked about this before. It's a fixing spray, makeup fixing spray. And I think it was 6 99 This is, I think, my third pot, pot spray bottle, bottle of this. Um, I didn't realise how good this was until I started using... Hold that thought cooler. this revolution one recently which is vanilla and coconut and smells lovely but as a fixing spray not so much i honestly couldn't recommend it particularly it's 
doesn't do an awful lot of anything, I don't think. But this stuff, bloody brilliant. The other one I like is the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is obviously a lot more expensive than this. And I tend to use the Urban Decay All Nighter when I go on holiday, um, when it's very hot in the evening to stop my makeup sliding straight down my face like that, which it does quite easily when I go on holiday. Um, so I tend to use the Urban Decay when I go on holiday and this the rest of the time. And this, highly recommend. I didn't realise how much I liked it until I tried something that wasn't nearly as good and was a similar price. So I bought in Superdrug, or well, Boots, wherever I bought it, I can't even remember. <laughs> I went to both. Um, it was this Schwarzkopf Got To Be Bodifying Mousse. I've been using a salt spray on my hair recently and it's bloody useless. Um, mousse is definitely the way to go. Mousse or like a cream product is definitely what I need. Um, so I've got one that I'm using at the moment which is a TG one which is in a, it's a huge size one. Too big to take on holiday. So I got this which is also quite large but I couldn't find a smaller um, mousse that I liked the look of to take on holiday. So there we are. Right, moving on to Primark. That's what we're all here for, isn't it? Let's have a look at the Primark haul. I purchased two cardigans. First of all, I got this chunky grey sort of cable knit design one. This was 13 and I got it in an XL. Oh yes, that's nice. I like it. Let me take you over to here to have a look in the mirror. Yes, that's nice. I nearly got a longer line one, which I like, which I may well go back for at some point. Um, but this is nice for the chilly evenings on holidays. It's just a nice neutral colour to pop over whatever I'm wearing in the evening if it gets cold. So yeah, very happy with that. Okay, next. I bought a navy cardigan. This is just the standard cardigan of dreams that you've all seen me wearing lots of times. It's £9. I bought that in a 2XL um, just because they, I would have bought the grey in a 2XL but they didn't have it in a 2XL but the XL is actually plenty big enough. This is the long line tight knit cardigan. It's got pockets. Um, the only thing it has got which I really don't like at all is these gold buttons on the cuff which I've checked and are pretty easy to cut off so they will be coming off at some point before I wear it. Um, what else did I buy? I bought, oh just found my boots shopping. Cotton wool, 50p for cotton wool. Does anybody use that reusable cotton wool, cotton wool pads. A few years ago, I tried some and they didn't wash nicely and they always looked grubby and it put me right off, to be honest. So I went back to normal cotton wool, but I'm feeling like perhaps I ought to try again with the reusable cotton wool pads. So if anybody uses them and has any recommendations of which ones to buy, let me know. That's something that I'm going to look into when I get back from holiday. Um, what else did I buy? I bought this. Who doesn't love a little pouch? As anyone who has ever watched one of my holiday packing videos knows, I pack everything in little pouches. And this one, not only has it got rose gold zip and a little bit of embellishment on it, it has my initial on it. I could not resist for two pounds. I don't suppose it will last forever. It feels a little like a freezer bag, slightly more um, sturdy, but not an awful lot, but I just liked that. Um, I bought for £1 a set of seven pack of travel bottles. I can't really figure out how this is a seven pack because to me that has one, two, three, four, five in it. Um, so yeah, I definitely can't say how that is a seven pack, but never mind, that's fine. That will work just as well and it was only a pound. Right, we're going back to boots now. I bought a Zingy Mint shower gel for Ashley. And I got some of this, which is called Overnight Curl Cream by VO5. I haven't seen this before. And I have taken to occasionally washing my hair when I shower in the evening and then letting it air dry and then styling it in the morning. 
this stuff you put on wet hair and leave it overnight so I thought I would just see what that's like I like the idea of that so I'll let you know how I get on with that and finally I purchased two pairs of earrings they are quite sparkly um, these ones they've got little tiny diamantes in the square they're really pretty for holiday and these hoops which are also little tiny diamantes. I thought these hoops were quite unusual with the diamante design on. Um, but yeah, three pounds for those and two pounds for those. So yes, that is all of my shopping. Right, I am going to probably sit and watch an episode of um, Selling Sunset, which is my latest binge watch on Netflix, um, and hope that the builders are going to be going away soon. Right, it's about four o'clock, like quarter past four, quarter past four it is. And um, I've been doing some eBay stuff. The builders went home at about 2.30ish, so that was good, so I could get back into my office. And I've done some listing and just put everything away that I've listed. Now I'm going to have a little pre-holiday pamper. I'm going to do a fa I'm gonna have a shower, do a body scrub, shave my legs don't often shave my legs i'm quite lucky that i don't have massive hair growth on my legs and i don't often get my legs out for anyone to look at so i very rarely shave my legs only when i'm going on holiday or i am on holiday or if i'm going to get my legs out which is very rare so i'm going to shave my legs i'm going to do a face mask or two i'm going to do a peel and then a, a moisturizing mask i think and while I'm doing that, I'm going to sort the laundry and I'm going to paint my toenails as well with gel polish, shellac. Um, so I'm going to choose a colour for that. So yeah, that's what I'm planning to do for the next couple of hours. Please excuse the fact I have red stuff all over my face. It is for anybody interested. This, the Ordinary AHA BHA Peel, which I love and which I use about once a week. Sometimes twice a week if I feel my skin needs it. It's full of um, AHAs, funnily enough. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, it's great for renewing your skin as you get older to encouraging regeneration of the skin and getting rid of old dead skin cells that our bodies do not necessarily get rid of as quickly as they should once we're older. Let me just undo that so I look slightly less bizarre. Although... <laughs> I don't think it's going to help really, is it? I have still got my eye makeup on. I took my face makeup off, kept my eye makeup on simply because I knew I was going to be talking to the camera and eye makeup is better than bare face, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I did keep my eye makeup on. Shallow and vain, though that really is, isn't it? <laughs> um, on a more serious note, I wanted to talk to you about a member of my little community here on YouTube, a lady called June, who you may know from in the comments as Witchwood Dreams, I think her commenting account is. June has been a viewer for a long, long time on here and um, has always been very supportive of my channel. She um, has recently been diagnosed with stage two invasive brain, sorry, stage two invasive breast cancer. Um, and she is uh, going to have a double mastectomy quite soon. Um, she is also, very, very bravely running the Race for Life or walking the Race for Life, I don't know which actually, but doing the Race for Life, which is an annual event here in the UK in aid of Cancer Research, which is a big cancer charity here. Um, regular viewers will probably know that cancer is a cause close to my heart. I think we've all been touched by cancer in some way, haven't we? But um, my father-in-law died of cancer 11 years ago and my best friend died of cancer when we were both 16. Um, so yes, it's something that has certainly touched my life. And I just, I'm going to put a link below for June's fundraising page. Um, she hasn't asked me to do that. She hasn't even contacted me directly about the fact she has cancer. She wrote an Instagram post yesterday about this and I thought I would like to come together as a community and support her in this little way if if we possibly can so I'm going to put the link 
down below for her fundraising and if anybody is able to and would like to please do click through and um, sponsor June if you could and would like to no pressure obviously but it's just something that I would like to do for someone who's always been nice and supportive of my channel uh, it's quarter past six I have finished my pamper session still got my eye makeup on skin feels lovely after that peel so nice um, I've done my toenails, I've got holiday toenails, very happy about that, and um, yes, yeah, so I've finished my pampering, I've just done our check-in for our flights, I'm going to do, um, I didn't know whether to vlog on holiday or not, but to be honest, through lockdown I have watched so many of our old holiday videos and vlogs that, um, I really want to do it. I want, I want to film it just for our own enjoyment, really. But what I thought might be useful or interesting to people is to film the actual travel day, first of all, to show you how things have changed in terms of travel and what things are like going through airports and stuff. Now, I thought people might be interested in that, so I'm going to do that. And I will do a holiday outfits of the evening and I'll do a vlog of some of our time on holiday, not all of it, but um, just little bits and pieces of our stay. Um, so yeah, that's that plan. I also have I've got a book club video coming on Monday, which will probably be tomorrow because I'll probably put this one up on Sunday. Um, and then I'll try and get something else up for you midweek, this week coming. Um, I think I've got a food video, if that one's ready to go up or not, I don't know. Anyway, I'll try and get something else up in the meantime so you've got something to watch in the weeks. I won't actually upload any videos while I'm away, I'll just film and then I'll do um, edit and upload them when I get back. Um, right, I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to do a little bit of a day in the life and a little chat and everything. Oh, incidentally, I've tried the um, hand cream. Hang on, I'll just get it. I've tried this one, which is lovely. It's got a very fresh lemony smell. They're all natural ingredients as well. I think I forgot to say that this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I've tried this one. Lemony, it's lovely. It feels really nice on my hands. Very luxurious and nice. And they do hand wash and all sorts of stuff on the website. So I will put the link in for that in the description box. I think I said that already. But yeah, every time you buy a product from them, they give a month's worth of hand cream to a nurse or midwife. So that's really nice. Um, I'll also put the links in for June's fundraising, as I said. Um, I think that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Considering how nice the weather was <laughs> earlier on, look at that, raining horrible so yes i will see you in the next one thank you very much for watching see you soon bye bye